So let's do it. And nothing is safe with Frank in the bracket. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the truth? And off they go. Game one ready to go. Dimwit is out of the gate first, and he's got a nice little horizontal to start his game. And another and one. Two quick clears. Meanwhile, Watchma not doing too bad himself at 33 viruses to go. And uh, Watchma's a very, very good player. Don't count him out. And we're seeing an incredibly efficient play from Watchma. Really, the first time we've seen him suffer drop time was... Uh, right on that one clear and uh, looks like you might be setting up potentially for something horizontally uh, 29 viruses to go uh, Dimwit down to 22 Dimwit with a relatively clean board a bit of garbage on the bottom of that board nothing he can't deal with as uh, we're getting deep here into uh, level 8 Watchma finally gets that horizontal on that yellow that he'd set up some time ago I thought he might have been abandoning it when he started going vertical on a on a blue virus earlier, but apparently he was just keeping that tucked in his back pocket. Both players crossing the minute mark, and uh, Watchma's playing solely on the bottom. Dimwin has a little bit of chuff up top he's got to take care of, and he'll get that double red and a double blue. Uh, doesn't take care of that uh, blue over in column eight. The virus lead right now uh, in hand with uh, Watchma, but it looks like Dimwit looking to get closer here. And a uh, drop cross here from uh, Watchma puts him at four to go and uh, six to go for Dimwit. Looks like he's got a bit bunched up on that uh, left side, Packy. Yeah, he's waiting for that to drop right now, though, and that's going to kick almost all of it. And uh, 146, uh, first round, uh, or first level, rather, uh, and then a 153 from Dimwit. So a bit of uh, an advantage here for uh, Watchma, uh, as we do have a little bit of that uh, bottom row cut off on Dimwit. We'll get that taken care of, folks. Don't you worry. Yeah, so far it looks, I mean, the game is close, and there's still a lot, there's still a lot of game left to play. Good drop there by Watchma and looks like he's watch. setting up the horizontal. That's exactly what he's doing. There we big, go. Big triple. Nice play there uh, by Watchma. Really, he's going to need to start taking oh, a, nice. an attack on that left side, though, as it's been very bunched up and not very addressed. We've got 24 to go for Watchma, 25 for Dimwit. Dimwit waiting, for, I think, for a blue-red, and he is going to get it. And look at this combo coming down. Great setup. He's down to 21, but Watchma still ahead on virus count, uh, just ever so slightly. Watchma did a really good job attacking that left side of his board to get everything balanced again. Once again, he's a bit clustered on the bottom like he was in level 8. Let's see what he does with it. I like this drop play, getting the combo down, and then another combo down to seven. So single digits first here uh, for Watchma, and a pretty good board here. Little bit of a struggle potentially uh, getting everything in that corner down, but um, five viruses that, to go to seven for Dimwit. Those double reds were huge for Watchma, but now he's getting too many of them. You'd know that. <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> and now it's Thank a you. now it's a double yellow search, but out at 342 is Watchma. And Dimwit is going to be out just a little bit later. Don't know if clearing the uh, garbage was necessary for that. He had free and clear on that blue. Uh, out at 401 is Dimwit. So big lead here. Uh, for Watchma, but Watchma's got uh, a really interesting board. Columns two and three, especially notable. Not a lot of action going on virus wise there. Yeah, there's a there's a bit of a not quite a stairway, but like depth of red on his, the right side of his board. Doing pretty well with it though. Meanwhile, Dimwit down to 28 viruses here. 
as Watchma looking to set up a combo. A little bit of drop time, but setting himself open for uh, a big trip, one pill triple. 20 to 21, Dimwit starting to crawl back. Interesting situation for Watchma here. Very low access to yellow right now. And an L clear there puts them at 14, still holding a lead on Dimwit. There weren't a whole lot of viruses in that L, but it does clear up a lot of garbage that he didn't want to deal with. And and sometimes clearing to make room is it's more helpful than clearing at any sort of clear or any sort of obvious virus clear. Uh, five viruses to go here. It looks like Watchma building things up. Dimwit struggling on that uh, right side packing. Uh, just a couple of bi a big Ooh. double spire. I like that move, minimizing drop time and very efficient and clears of viruses. Comboing out at 534, one level to go here, and that all-important cutscene skip. Yep. Cut, the the cutscene skip followed by the non-pause buffer. I like that, that sudden move by Dimwit because he realizes that double yellow can just fit right in there. Dimwit out at 556 and... Uh, looks to be struggling here, though. Though he looks like he has that uh, anime glasses wearing kind of thing where uh, you can't see his eyes because of the reflection. There's just <laughs> two bright yellow or white spots. Watchman's having a bit of a struggle session here on 11, not getting the RNG he needs. Uh, looks like he's going to get some garbage cleared to get things going, but that was really rough, especially with so little access to red. Yeah, that's that's hard to deal with. Some. It's really hard to find ways to open up your board when you're not getting what you need sometimes. Nice little combo there. Good horizontal play as well. Six minutes, 36 seconds uh, elapsed here, and it looks like Dimwit's starting to mount a comeback. Watchma really needs yellow support, and he is not getting it. Watchma is going to need to attack the right side of his boards in the near future, and Dimwit's going to need to attack the left side of his. 25 to 19. Watchma looking to get a 1 0 advantage here over the uh, top ranked player. Dimwit not really getting the blue reds he needs right now, but here comes one. He's got a couple of spires on the far sides of the screen, but it looks like he's now getting the RNG he needs to deal with them, and now he's closing the gap. Good, good big T there. And the horizontal clear down to three viruses. This is going to be very, very close. Oh, wow. This is this is a great game right here. Oh, Just that is a fortunate red-blue for Watchma, and that gives him Watchma any blue takes, fragment will do it. And Watchma will take game one at a 747. Big plane, big win. It's a 755 for Demwin. And it Dimwit in a rare position where he's down one to nothing, but that's what happens when you're the 16 seed. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> very, very close game. game. Great first game by both players. So Dimwit now down one to nothing. Uh, Watchma played very consistently. Really, only struggled throughout 11. Uh, Dimwit just. Had, had that spire uh big in 10 and i think that's really what slowed him down ultimately yeah it's it's bad rng versus double spires and bad R right. or bad rng eventually won out because early in a level is the worst place to get bad rng because you don't have a lot of places to put the garbage that you don't need And we're going to get game two started right now. Let's go. Tim went out of the gates first. Good boards for both players here. And watch my already off. Uh, not a lot of blue help. He's going to need uh, something pretty spectacular here. And it looks like he is 
getting ready to go, dropping some blue down, fixing everything up nicely, has good color diversity. Dim went down to 27, also very good color diversity, a lower top line though, and he's gonna get a nice drop cross to take three more viruses off his board, uh, already down to a uh, lead here. And you know, Dimwit always seems to play a lot more savagely after uh, losing losing a game. So uh, that focus definitely locked in here. Uh, but what's also locked in is uh, that clear, dropping a lot of yellow garbage down along Watchman's board. Uh, and I think really couldn't do much about that. Uh, and also the big problem for Watchman right now, Packy, very limited access to blue. Yeah, that is what's really screwing him up right now and right now Dimwood is just running free and clear easy horizontals for the Zellos and all he needs is a batch of blue to get out of level 8 this is a great time right now and you can see Dimwood very clearly going for that double horizontal uh, as it's uh, not quite single digits yet but Dimwood out at a minute 22 great time Excellent there time. Dimwood trying, playing to try to clear uh, or rather get, get the series evened up Minute 30 uh, elapsed for both players. Five to go for Watchma. As his pills buried and with no blue, anything blue coming up is just a detriment. Yeah, looking at Watchma's board, the key is going to be that red horizontal. I like this Mark setup. Great clear, just needing that last yellow. And Watchma out at two minutes. Yeah, As two minutes dim eight is pretty rough, but sometimes that's just how it goes. Sometimes that's what our that's the hand you're dealt. And now so. Dimwit getting dealt some rough RNG. Speaking of that, as uh, having a very messy board, unorthodox for uh, Dimwit here, as uh, he is that twenty eight. But Watchman now almost almost even this up. Now has even the virus count up and getting another horizontal clear and uh, really starting to take Dimwit. To task yep. bad early rng in a level can really screw you up and that's exactly what dimwit had to deal with at the beginning of level nine and it's opened up a big enough window for watchma to take a lead uh for those asking in chat exact same uh watchma took round one we'll get that crown up there for you uh influx saying pointing out how clean this level is by watchma and I, I would definitely agree. Ooh, but a bit of a misflip down there. But look at this. It's going to get a oh, big yeah. fat L. And that's a pennant gonna... right there. <laughs> and that's that's exactly what uh, Watch was trying to get the October pennant. October, a big month for baseball, an even bigger month for Dr. Mario. And uh, not going for that uh, clear. Had the doubles and now uh, sees it takes that clear two viruses to go to eight for dimwit this has been a heck of a turnaround packy uh we saw a two minute level eight and now we're seeing a, a dang near 90 second uh nine as uh out at 340 is watchma yeah, 140 on nine is pretty solid dimwit just needs a little bit of help to get out of this one he, re he really needs oh that's the perfect pill that he and needs right there got the sequence he'll be out at four minutes even and watchma already going to town here on level number 10 it's a seven virus lead uh but no lead is safe against dimwit the uh 2020 speed run champion watchma's looking good so far does not really have any uh red viruses to work with but making good use of what he's getting Good efficient play there. A little bit of blue garbage, nothing he can't handle, and immediately gets the help. And we'll uh, tuck that blue red down. He's down to 21. Really uh, putting the pressure on Dimwit here to uh, attack here. Dimwit not getting anything going here. But uh, on the other hand, Dimwit is absolutely locked in to uh, that, that one seed in December. So we'll see what happens here as we are at four about five minutes now for both players and watchman just clearing that left side of the board but dimwit taking the virus lead back here it is a dead heat right now and both of these players just doing outstanding work on this level 
after a after a bit of a seesaw in the first two levels, this one they're just racing right through. Big drop cross for Watchma. He's free and clear. Just needs a yellow and two reds out at uh, not quite out yet. Sorry, folks. Now he's gonna be out at five thirty-four, but Dimwit not far behind. Just needing a couple of reds. Dimwit out at a five forty-one. It's gonna come down to eleven. Can Watchma take down Dimwit? Dimwit did a great job in that last level using all those yellow red, yellow blues that he didn't need to build up a tower to set himself up for a zero drop clear on that one of those reds. So, but Dimwit right now holding a slight virus lead, but these two players have about a three second discrepancy between them. And a good L there from uh, Watchma and going vertical on that. No access to yellow at the moment, though, for Watchma. But it is a dead heat. Another sweet T uh, for Watchma. Now under 31st. Dimwit kind of has the same problem right here, right now. He has a limited access to yellow himself. And all I would say it looks to be an almost exclusively blue top line. A little bit of red there, but... Uh, it's going to be combo required to get to it right now as it's uh, just still a couple of viruses between these two. Watchma just trying to open up combos, trying to make some color diversity happen. And a good setup there in uh, columns two and three. It is 17 to 21. Watchma very, very close to a win here. But Dimwit fighting to keep it close. Seven, 16 to 12. Watchma playing the long game a little bit, but unfortunately had to clear out those blues. Was hoping to get the horizontal, but now it's a big L clear right there. That's going to help a big time. Fantastic clear by Watchma as... Oh, that's Ooh. a big misplay. That's a huge misplay. How is that going to affect this game? We're going to see as we're getting into the final run here. Seven and a half minutes, Ooh. seven viruses for both players. A double clear, but it is a garbage-filled board for Watchma. A clean board for Dimwit. He just needs a few blues, and he is going to do it. And That's it looks like it. with a 7.45, oh, man. Dimwit storms back and avoids elimination. Wow! And that one misdrop is, was really critical. I mean... It might not have made a difference because Dimwin was really storming through that end game like crazy, but unfortunately, we will never know for sure. A and we very, are going to another game. decider. And that that misdrop, that blue red misdrop that Watchma had, I think, really critical to that. I think if he doesn't make that misdrop, we might be looking at a different situation. But we are going to a game three between these two heavyweights. If I'm watching it right now, I just take a deep breath, shake it off, because you've got another game to play. So just relax and focus on what's coming up. And Watchma right now is sitting on a six seed. Uh, a win here definitely would improve that standing. And we have a ready from Watchma, and we have a ready from Dimwit. And we have a start here for Game 3, our D-Sider. Coming up next on the Dr. Mario Championship is going to be Influx versus Don Venier. We got to get through this one first, folks. Good starts for both players. Both, again, just playing very similarly paced. Clean board Watch for... Yeah. Watchman really needs a red-blue right now to... Tuck it into the center center columns right there. Oh, looks like he went ahead and took the horizontal there. And there's the red blue he needs. And Watchman being very efficient with those pill halves. If he's able to drop one down, he will if it's a little bit. A limited blue access right now for Watchma. Uh, and the pill lead or the virus lead right now going to Dimwit by a couple. But uh, I would. Both players have relatively clean boards. Not really. Can't really say who's got the full-on advantage here. Watchma going for that horizontal. He can get it with the double blue, and he can do it with the blue yellow. 
So he's got yeah, options and he gets the tea. Gets the sweet tea. It is indeed very sweet. 11 to 9. Man, it's so close between these two. Watchman needs a lot of yellow right now. Oh, look at that giant cross. Look at this, look at this combo. Man. Huge combo by Dimwit, putting him into at one. But uh, let's see if uh, friendly double yellow surge. And who's going to be out first? 147 for Dimwit. 148 for Watchma. As these players in a deadlock heat going in to round number nine. Oh, and it looks like that uh, double blue mm. got stuck. We'll see if uh, Watchma can recover from that. Meanwhile, Dimwit letting some stuff just take its time and dropping down. Uh, I think he might be looking for the horizontal triple. He's going to get it uh, down to 30 viruses. And it looks like Watchman has cleaned up that left side. A bit Ooh. precarious. And it looks like maybe another misdrop over there, Packy. Yeah, it looks like he just had an episode of color dyslexia. And it happens to the best of us, really. Get those colors mixed up. We saw it happen to DM Hero against his match against Frank earlier in this tournament. Yeah, I mean, nerves can really get you in deciding games like this against really tough players. Yeah, you, you, you may see these players looking like they have ice in their veins when they're playing on camera, but I can guarantee you there is a lot of internal screaming going on. Oh, yeah. Sometimes external, depending on the RNG. Oh, and another misplay by oh. uh, Watchma. Oh, uh, no, it looks like he's going to get the horizontal here. Okay, so he is setting up, but... Dimwit has jumped out to a huge lead. Seven viruses to go. Uh, and now has a triple set up. And looks like he's not going to go for it. Going to go for uh, the horizontal clear instead. Uh, but Dimwit's starting to run away with this. Yeah. Some of some of Watchma's horizontal gambits haven't been working out quite as planned. Gambit? What is this? Chess? No. Uh... <laughs> well We've in got... the game of chess you can never let your opponent see your pieces that's true <laughs> uh 346 dimwit out of level nine two levels to go for dimwit uh a watchman trying to make this competitive needs some blue help optimally yeah. looking for a double blue potentially no he's going to do the l the easier way and that's three viruses gone and it looks like he's just going to get a streak of blues. He'll be out at 407. Shout out to Orlando as uh, we get into round 10. It is a six virus lead for Dimwit. Smart of Watchma to go for the L clear because then you ultimately need one fewer blue fragment than you normally would to clear everything on your board. Because otherwise, you notice the next pill that he had was a double red when he got out of that level. And who knows mm -hmm. how many of those he would have just gotten. I like that staircase management on those yellows by Watchma. Uh, had a horizontal clear and just draped all of those remaining yellows uh, with a pill fragment. Really getting that board nice and clean. And in fact, he's taken the virus lead again, Packy. Wow, this... You blink and you miss it. I mean, this this is just back and forth and back and forth. 18 to 19 here. Dimwit uh, looking to set up maybe a cross uh, over on that uh, left side. He will get it down to 15. He takes the virus lead again. Watchman trying to fight here. Uh, looking for something here. I think looking potentially for a big combo, a big hero combo on that uh, right side. Yep. And he is going to get it. And he's going to get another big drop combo, a big well over there with those uh, with that garbage, uh, but still manageable. Uh, both players less now at five viruses or less, two to go for pa uh, Dimwit uh, and uh, five to go for Watchma. He's going to take the easy way uh, and uh, just horizontally clear out. Uh, he is down to three. Pat or Dimwit down at 546 and at 549. We're going into 11 near wow. dead heat, folks. Get excited. These folks are about to bring you the noise as we go into our final round in this decider. Great plays by Dimwit to start this level. There's a lot of blue that he's got to deal with that he just can't because he's not getting any blue pills. 
but he's he's been working his way around it and been doing a great job. And we're going to get that drop cross. Nice play by Watchma. It's a four virus lead right now for Dimwit. But both these players have great setups. And another uh, two combo there. That's going to tie everything up. Now it's a very, very blue heavy board for Watchma. Ooh, should have, might have, might have wanted to lay that uh, double yellow horizontally. Could have had a big clear. Didn't take it. Uh, and it is a 25 27 virus game. And, and we're now, now starting to see Watchma get efficient. Just trying to get one pill clears, trying to get this off the board, trying to maintain diversity. Uh, no yellow really access for him at the moment, uh, but he is making some stuff work. Uh, it is back and forth between these two players, however. 18 to 15, it's a slight lead for Watchma. And I like, I, I like that tuck play over there. Watchma's top line is still pretty diverse, but now he now he has a lack of access to yellow. Let's see how that plays out for him. Because he's still four viruses behind, and Dimwit is ha has a really efficient endgame right here. Dimwit's horizontal is still open there. Maybe not so much now, but now he's now he just needs a. I think there. I think Watchma might have hosed himself out here. Uh, and it will be the case at a 744, a very, very close decider, but Dimwit taking home a stressful semifinal appearance. Well and done, he, Dimwit. He'll be advancing to round number three. Watchma very, very close. Not Didn't quite get it, but a uh, heck of a way to start round two. Uh, and we're going to take a quick two-minute break when we come back. Uh, I think we're going to send Packy off to let him warm up.